Today, one of my wishes will come true. Some time ago, I discovered the In Kimono website because one of my followers on Twitter did a kimono photo shoot. I really liked the style of the photos. They were so different comparing to the shoots I did before. And one thing I was very curious about is the fact that kimono designer Sashia is choosing the kimono for you. Sounds interesting, right? Actually, I wanted to book a shoot last year, but I got pregnant and some of you remember I wasn't that healthy. But this year I get my chance and I was so excited. I could barely sleep the night before. I was worrying if the weather might be fine and if I would get enough sleep. But everything was going well. All right, here we go. prepared okay yeah. nothing is final so like if you think oh my god I will wear this like I want something else it's fine yeah because <laughs> okay. look I mean I have a lot of stuff so oh. it's just something that I chose based on what you said and also I checked your YouTube so kind of like daily fashion oh, so yeah. rather like lots of pastels mm -hmm. if pastel and floral then in my mind it's automatically formal kimono oh, so awesome. this is a formal kimono yeah it's a yeah. hongongi i have some other ones like this this one is cute but it's not floral mm -hmm. this one i have never used it has like gold so just take a look yeah at uh, the formal ones that i have this one also has some kind of discoloration somewhere there but it's okay it's not gonna be visible at any point so yeah <laughs> Now it's just, you know, on my mannequins, it's like wrinkled <laughs> on you, yeah. it's gonna look, you know, much better. So, yeah, anyway, also a fancy thing about this kimono is that sleeves are longer than usual. Oh. Maybe it was a furi sode before. Maybe. Ah, they shortened it. Maybe, yeah. So here also we have a peony. This is very cute. So this embroidery is called... <sighs> Sagaranui, I think. Yeah, so this is a really fancy uh, type of embroidery. Like this yeah. Yeah, this so this kind of kimono is called yuzen, so it's painted by hand. Well, color, we can make it fancy, we can make it just plain, but I think, why not fancy? Uh, I like this because like it works color-wise, yeah? yeah? This one like would it. work as well, mm -hmm. so it's ah, like baby blue. baby blue. This one would look cute as well, yeah, and adds a little bit of like different color, you know what I yeah. mean? Actually, I prefer the Phoenix one. This is yep. really good. Oh, okay, okay, I like cool. this one. No problem. Yeah. And then as for uh, Obiage, this thing, I bought it in Kyoto the other day. And it's so cool, I love it. It's <laughs> great. Yeah, so it's you're okay good. with this, yeah? Yeah, this absolutely. This one's like so funky, I love it. Seriously, awesome. love at first sight. If you want to funky things up, I would leave it as it is because it's like interesting enough already yeah but like if you want something in the middle oh cute then mm -hmm. we we can still use it but in a different way yeah so it will be like this and like this ah, I like this, this is the same type of embroidery as the kimono it's called sagara no in, yeah? it's up to you okay now it's a completely completely perfect perfect <laughs> i'm very glad very okay awesome. <laughs> Thank you. 
coming next? <gasps> lashes. Oh, the lashes. lashes. Oh, lashes. lashes. Oh, lashes. Oh, she's such a bully. It's been so long time. The moment of truth. The big moment. Oh, oh, oh. Nervous. Oh my god. Oh, oh, oh. What a difference. <laughs> Do we like it? God, I'm so happy. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh my so god. <laughs> yeah, I saw a little this bit of the eye so makeup. Beautiful. Yeah. This is so yeah. awesome. Your brows, your yeah, eyes, yeah, yeah. palm. I'm, I'm sorry, I will hire her. Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm good. <laughs> and you have worn kimono before, yeah? Yes. Like the bridal one? And bridal one and before as well as okay. two rentals. I see, I see, yeah. I see. Okay, okay, I see. So you might have an idea <laughs> about kimono, <laughs> yeah. more or less. Um, but probably there is... I mean, not probably, but yeah, definitely. There's much more to kimono than usually people realize <laughs> or people think about kimono. So most people think, oh yeah, kimono is really flashy and floral and you put flowers in your hair. Not really. <laughs> not really. It's not really how it works, especially with casual kimono. Oh. Think of kimono mm -hmm. as clothing that you're wearing right now. Just mm -hmm. like Western clothes. That's it. This is exactly how it works. So when it's colder, you wear um, more layers. You wear a top coat, you wear a scarf or something, yeah? When it's hotter, of course, you wear some natural fabrics or something thin, something airy, yes? There are very, very casual types of kimono, then semi-formal, formal, and very special kimono worn only for special occasion, like the bridal kimono that you wore, yeah. furisode, for example, kurotome sode that mothers wear for wedding, yeah? And then summer kimono, not yukata, but yeah, summer kimono uh, is usually see-through or sheer. This one is oh, not yeah. completely see-through, it's sheer, yes? So this is one type of fabric, it's very thin. So the patterns, yeah, I said it's like super flashy and flowers basically, yeah. The thing is, in case of casual kimono, floral patterns are rare because they limit you to particular season. So these are types of different types of kimono for women. I'll explain each one separately, but I just show you for quick comparison how many types there are for men. Only four, <laughs> basically. <laughs> so like, sorry guys. Yeah. This is my favorite. It's the most like shogiki teki. <laughs> Just so I'll, I'll show you how it's done, yeah? Because I, I tried it, yeah? So it's spread on fabric. I think it's this way, yeah? It's spread on fabric. Then it's like uh, secured in different spots. And then you have a spatula and you yeah. do it this way throughout this whole length, yeah? Mm -hmm. And then you get rid of the stencil, yeah? And you're left with these little spots covered with rice paper. You know, you see it and you think, oh, okay, I see the borderline. But you know in your mind that it was done by human hands. That's the point. That's the taste, you know. If it's too perfect, it has no soul, let's say. Yeah. Yeah. It's machine made, it's printed, yeah. <gasps> so the inside of a men's howdy is always fancy. There's always some idea to it, okay. Women's howdy also exists, and sometimes it does have a nice lining, uh, here maybe, mm, but it's not a must really, yeah, <laughs> it's just, true. I mean, we have it, so we might make it fancy while we're at it, but for men, it's, there's an idea, there's a concept. Cool.
bottle time. This is good, this is good. 